Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm a physical therapist and I live in Omaha, Nebraska. I, uh, I'm a hobbyist carpenter. I've worked uh, with wood in general construction all my life. I, I recently, about six months ago, had a table saw accident. I started working in my garage, got my saw out, got everything set up, and I'm always very meticulous. I'm always very careful, or I try to be, uh, or I thought I was. Uh, and so I set up my saw. I measured uh, against my blade to the rip fence multiple times at the front of the blade and the back of the bit blade. And I made five or ten cuts. I worked for maybe a half hour or so. I wasn't tired. I wasn't fatigued. Um, and like I said, I was trying to be careful. Uh, and I pushed my piece of wood through the saw. And as it got to the end of the blade, it bound and it threw the piece of wood back at me and it threw it back behind the, the, the saw against the back of my, my uh, shop and as it threw the piece of wood it rolled my hand right through the saw from the, fr from the, uh, the back of the blade to the front of the blade and in doing that it flung my finger. I couldn't turn the saw off there because I was in shock. I didn't know what had happened. I'd looked down um, being a healthcare professional and, and knowing what I know about anatomy and what you need for a functional hand, I, I, I looked and, and saw that I, I had a thumb and I, I knew I was hurt very, very badly. And so I, I grabbed my hand and I took my belt off and I wrapped my belt around my arm so I wouldn't bleed uh, anymore because I'd already started to bleed a significant amount in a very short period of time. Um, and I wrapped my belt around my arm and started to walk upstairs uh, while I was running. I was starting to run upstairs as quickly as I could. My wife was still upstairs uh, with our son at the high chair and uh, feeding him lunch. So I told her, you know, I hurt my hand. I cut my hand. I think I might have cut it off. Uh, and so she instantly grabs our son out of there, tells our daughter that we got to go, and she drives me to the hospital you know, as quickly as we could. I got to the hospital and they instantly took me back. I, I, I felt very lucky that I didn't have to wait in the, the waiting room because I really don't feel like I could have waited a, a prolonged period of time. They took me down on, on, a, on a gurney and they started IV. They asked me, you know, did I intentionally do this to myself? And of course I, I, I didn't, didn't. They asked me if I have any, any, any thoughts of suicide and I, I don't, uh, not at all. Um, so they, they start to treat me, and the, the emergency room physician that's there is a very nice guy, but he's not a qualified hand surgeon, so there's no way that they're going to be able to put my, my hand back together, and this is Saturday afternoon, and I was lucky that a hand surgeon was on call, and so that hand surgeon came to the hospital and splinted my hand and scheduled me to come back until Tuesday, and then Tuesday... I went in for the surgery. It was a five-hour surgery where, sorry, get my hand back in focus, where they took the end of this finger back to shorten it up so it would have a good surface. They shortened it to the knuckle because they, they didn't think I would be able to articulate that nub. Uh, then they took the skin from right here from the part that they amputated, and then they gave me a skin graft right there. And like I said, I am a physical therapist. I make my living with my hands, trying to use my hands to help people so they don't have it, they, they, they can get past the injuries that they, they have. So I cut off this finger here. This is the finger that I use to write and do all my documentation and also use my screw gun and my air nailer. And then I cut through this finger, the top of this one, and then the top of this one, and then the top of this one, right through that joint right through there and then right through there. I've worked very, very hard. My, my fingers don't move normally yet and they won't all the way. I can open and close it to make kind of a fist, but not nearly what you can with, with my other hand. So comparatively, I don't have nearly the grip strength. I don't have nearly the articulation. Uh, now when I work with things or I hold things, it takes me a lot longer because it, uh, I'm, I'm not as, 
I'm not as good with my hands. I'm clumsier, so I'm at more of a risk to probably get hurt in the future. Uh, I've lost a lot of its range of motion, and I'm working very hard to try and get that back yet. And it popped there. You see it? Also, when I open and close my hand, it pops. You hear it? That pop is painful. The part that bothers me is to look down and see my hand is different than it normally was. The, to, to look down on my hand and see, like, oh, it's got, you know, just part of it's there, and it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. I, I can't manipulate things like I, I, I'm supposed to. But the shock of looking down and seeing your, your hand, you know, in kind of a mutilated position uh, all the time is, is, is traumatic daily. Um, uh, it's impacted my work significantly. I write all day long with my right hand, and so I can't hold a pen very well. I'd like to say that, that it couldn't happen to me, and I never thought it would, and I never ever thought that I would ever get hurt like this, I, and I guess it can't happen to you, it can't happen to me, um, but it did, and it does, and I hope no, none of you guys ever get hurt either. Uh, thank you for your time.